Ravana, the mighty king of Lanka, was an ardent devotee of Lord Shiva. He prayed to the Lord on Mount Kailash. O oh Lord, please grant me a boon that Lanka will never be destroyed. Ravana, I will give you an Atma Linga, but on one condition. You should carry this linga on your head and walk to Lanka. You must never put the linga down at any point. If you do so, the linga will remain firmly affixed to the place. The gods who heard about this boon were anxious. They decided that Ravana should not be allowed to take the linga to Lanka. If he succeeded in this venture, he can never be destroyed. The gods approached the elephant-headed Ganesha for help. I will fill his stomach with water. All of you can then see how I deceive him. Due to Ganesha's action, Ravana became desperate to answer nature's call. Ganesha appeared before Ravana in the form of a small boy. Ravana decided to hand over the Atma Linga to the boy. Can you hold this Linga for a few minutes, little boy? I will certainly do it. But I cannot wait for long. When I have to go, I will call your name thrice. If you don't come, I will keep this Linga on the ground and go away. Ravana agreed to this deal. As soon as Ravana went, Ganesha called his name thrice and placed the linga on the ground. I have come back. Oh, but what have you done? Why did you place it on the ground? Let me try to lift the linga. In spite of his 20 hands, Ravana was not successful. The pressure from Ravana's hands had changed its shape like the air of a cow and hence the place came to be called Kokarna. The Lingam came to be called Mahabaleshwar since it could not even be shifted by the mighty Ravana. Hey, wait, don't run! He hit the boy on his head. Ganesha showed his two palm and lusted. Lord Ganesha can be pleased by doing kuttu, gently tapping both temples with folded fists. 